Uh, today we're looking at the H form or H2 Porter Pack uh, running the latest nightly firmware for um, I guess now we're above 2.2.0. I am running Morse code and I'm going to turn this radio down because that's still kind of loud. This is under the transmit side of things. So just remember that when you're transmitting anything to be aware and uh, make sure that you're transmitting on a frequency that you're allowed to. Diving into this on the Morse code, we have a few different things you can look at. To get in there, first of all, we're just going to go out of here and we're going to go to the transmit side of things and then go ahead and go over to Morse code. And then I have a failure there. I will say that I have noticed a few failures going on the Morse code side of things and uh, mostly on the transmit side of things with the recent upgrades or update to 2.2.0. Uh, I'm sure that these things are getting fixed, but just be aware of that, that if you are going to uh, upgrade your firmware, there may be some issues that are not transmitting. Uh, back over here under Fox Hunt, this right here under Fox Hunt right there, if we click on that box, we can then select that one through, I think, 11. And those are preset messages that are already set and ready to go. I have my own custom message there, uh, L and S for like and subscribe. So if you like this content, please like and subscribe. The speed there is 15 WPS. WPS stands for words per second. I think it's within a minute really. Um, but anyways, that's the speed of which they are transmitting at. And then we have our tone. Now I did notice that on the tone, if I don't, if I go above 100, I can no longer hear it on my radio. So for instance, if we go to tone here, and let's just go to 500 here, and I want to start, and then I can see here on this radio that we are receiving that frequency, but we get no, no audio out of that. Now if I drop that tone down. Actually, let's jump this up to 200. And you can see here that we are trying to receive that frequency still. But like I was saying, if we go above that uh, 100 tone, then we lose all audibility. Now, if you want to learn more about Morse code, a great channel to follow and go look at some things would be Ham Raider Crash Course. Those guys over there do some amazing stuff with Morse code and uh, CW type stuff. Um, I am not fluent in Morse code by any means. This is something that can help you learn Morse code to an extent uh, just by uh, typing in letters or numbers and then hitting play and then receiving those on my radio uh, like a uh, U5R or a Quashang variant of sorts, you know, um, or if you have a little HT, those are great to use as well. Or if you have another port pack H2 or H4M, you can then tune to that and listen to those frequencies as well. If you want to learn about fox hunting, go check out my link right here about fox hunting that I did a video on about mm, six or seven months ago now. Uh, a lot of good insight there on fox hunting, so definitely go check that out. If you're looking at the H4M, I will leave a link in the description below as well for a percentage off from Open Source SDR Labs. Uh, so thank you guys for that coupon code. Today's sponsor, of course, is PCBWay. I would like to thank PCBWay for their continual support with this channel. If you guys don't know who PCBWay is, they manufacture and make some incredible PCBs. Uh, so they can take your concept from a concept to an actual tangible PCB. Uh, if you wanted to get one of these radios printed out, they now have the DOM and build files for a radio like such on their website. They offer 3D printing services, PCB services, obviously. They offer um, CNC services, injection molding, and uh, cut metal. Definitely check out PCB Way, and I will leave a link in the description below as well to save some dollars off. Quick summary is we have a Fox Hunt checkbox, which has preloaded messages, uh, 1 through 11 of different uh, messages that are in there. We have the speed, which is the transmission speed of the uh, letters or words per minute. We have the tone, uh, which is the broadcast tone. As of right now, only 100 uh, for my experience right now testing with an H4M and this radio is working uh, for the tone of 100. Modulation, uh, CW, of course, which CW stands for Morse code. Uh, you can try to tune into this via FM and listen to it. The loops there uh, loop from five seconds all the way up to five minutes and then off. Uh, the message, you can set your own message there if you'd like to. And then we have the uh, TX will last uh, slash wait. So once you hit start, it'll start circulating. And then of course, down below we have our frequency to set to, and then our steps. And then we have the gain, our, uh, and then our amp. So uh, that is super simple with fox hunting. Uh, yeah, again, if you have any questions, reach out below, join my Discord. And thank you all guys for your time. I appreciate it. And I will see you guys in the next video.